Happy Tuesday. It's weird. This I think Tuesday's the day of the week that we've done the least talking real streams ever. But we're here on the Tuesday because we've got a reduced schedule this week. It's just today and tomorrow. Thanks for coming along. Uh, you're here to see Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean DS. I'm already sick of the game, actually. Mamba Club. There we go. There's our, there's our new sound alert. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> Uh, I'm already sick of the game just from setting the screen so that you can watch it. I mean, it looks absolutely fucking awful full screen, but there's there it's it's two two scre screens twice as good. Yeah, it's one screen on top Bumber of the other. <laughs> yeah, hammer that bumper clock button. We've also got a uh, we've got like a roulette as well. So it's two hundred what are they called bits. That's it. I should remember what they're fucking called, shouldn't I? 200 bits, and it picks a random noise from all the noise that are set, including the shots one, which I'll do a shot to. I haven't said that publicly before, but that 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 involves a shot, and also uh, Jealous, the full two-minute fucking Snow White curse song. How is everyone? Hi, Emily, Lars, Aforio, Dance. Is that it? Any more of you? My first beer today is Elvis juice. I originally wasn't going to drink today, but fuck. Play Mr. Bean. I have to fucking drink today. Come on. I should be shotgunning this fucker. I'll talk for longer. Hi, Jack. Is it you here for Mr. Bean? We're going to be... So we're trying Mr. Bean DS. So the thing is that it was suggested that rather than play the PS2 game again, which is broken... We're gonna we're gonna play Mr. Bean on the DS instead. So I've found a way to emulate DS, but I don't know if there's any touchscreen inputs. If there are, because I'm playing this on a controller, I cannot do that. So we did a mini uh, talking real peas goal, which was to do a test stream. That's why it's today a bonus stream. So we're gonna play to the point of a mini game. Oh, oh here we go. Believe this. Can everyone start doing shots, 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 shots? Thank you. Was that you, Joe? Welcome to the stream. It, pick, pick from behind me. You, your options are Corky's uh, Raspberry Glitter. We got Infusionist a Small uh, Small Batch Raspberry Jam Donut Gin Liqueur. Yep. Yeah. And we've got Red Square Toffee Vodka and also Poplio. We got gin, obviously. This is the one that's got the most in the bottle. They're all they're all below half though. So yeah, we're gonna play to the point to see if like you can play you can start the game without a touch screen, but it's whether there's a mini game like if they have the jigsaw puzzles or the whack a mole that are not optional. So we've got a talking real peas goal to do a whole stream of this. So I would advise you to stick onto your peas until you decide if you actually it's wanna see this anymore. To spin the wheel. Hi Stina. I will spin the wheel for you. Yeah, I've got Poplio behind here for you, Dance. We've got Poplio on the screen twice here. Actually, there's probably three Poplios if you look hard enough. Perhaps not. I'll spin the wheel for you in a second, Stina. Millwall. <laughs> and sorry that the Oi Fucko wasn't working earlier, Dance. I think it might have been the, that internet outage that was around earlier. Fucking hat. Straight up with a hat. I've just had to refresh sound alerts and uh, and whatever this is called. <laughs> I'm here while I eat breakfast. What did I miss? Nothing. Like you've you've missed someone claim shots and me ranting about that I'm going to play Mr. Bean. You haven't missed missed any Mr. Bean yet. It's time to spin the wheel. The Ouija visor, yeah. Got another spin for Mock and Echo. I I. You missed the new sound alert that was your suggestion. It was used a couple of times. Recorded this afternoon in the Talking Real Studios. All right, yeah, I will not forget the hydrate. Tiki's right on top of the wheel. Oh, that's, is that hat again? It's hat again. I'm not stacking the hats, you can change the hat. All right, and I'll spin the wheel for Stell. Hydrate. Hydrate. Double hydration. 
spin the wheel stream. Yeah, we ju I'm just going to sit here. You can just spin the wheel and we won't play Mr. Bean. We have to play Mr. Bean, though. It's a Talking Real Peas challenge and it, we pass. So we're going over to Mr. Bean. If the batteries just run out on the controller, they were working five it's minutes time ago. time to spin the <sighs> wheel. Shitting fuck. I wonder, I, random, all right. <laughs> random sound. <laughs> I was trying to get Mr. Bean to work. I went to pull the battery compartment down and then there was that noise in my left ear. Fuck, who did the spin the wheel at that time as well? Doc Bombay. Shitting fuck as a new sound. You don't need shitting fuck as a new sound alert. I fucking say it enough already. Just redeem any other hat. It's stuck on hat. It just wants hat. All right, the controller's working now. Oh, hoping for jealous. That would be that would be uh, weird if jealous did come up the first time that was ever used. The wheel seems to like. Sometimes we have like a three shots in a row though so at least hat is like the biggest section on the wheel i think so at least it makes sense all right mr bean this is i think it came out 2008 this one we'll see in a second so i've split it so i it's time to spin i've got the two wheel. screens here so i've got the input twice i'll spin the Will for Joe. M -O -N -E -Y. Curse Mr. Bean, shall we play in Norwegian? Chef's hat, okay. It's on hat again! Oh, for fuck's sake, it's a blast game. Yeah, blast club. I'm not wearing more than one hat today. It's... Is it just stuck on. Is it stuck on fucking hat? I, I would spin it. No, it can't be. That's just the luck of the draw. Sometimes it does weird things. That is what random is. Sometimes it seems not random. Look at this, though. Mr. Bean's eyes move around. So what I'm seeing on TV is the screen below me is equal to screen at the top. So there's just a, large, a column down the middle of the screen. So I've, I've actually put on two sources. Hey, thank you, Endless Rainy. Flick, flick the bean. That is what it looks like on my telly. So I've made it so the bottom screen, which shows nothing important, it just shows like, like pull screen sort of stuff, is just small down here. Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> Hello, motherfucker. Thank you, Lars. Actually, I should spin the wheel for both uh, Lars and Joe because that it is above the bits game amount, isn't it? What's bits game? It isn't 150 yet, is it? 146. Okay, so you get you get a spin of the wheel there. This is for Joe. It's just a wheel spinning stream. Hydrate. And this is for Lars. I can change the rules at any point. Fucking hat again! Can we have add Luigi to chef? Okay, but I'm not doing any more hats on top. You know how fucking hot it is. There. I stick it right in front of my eyes so I can't see Mr. Bean. There you go. Hope you're happy, because I'm sure as hell not. Like and subscribe, yeah? Reported for hat speech. All right, let's not play it in Italian. As fun as that would be. Oh, the controller is running out of battery, I think. It's not taking in all the inputs. If this game, ah. Uh, just a way to get this game be more cursed. The controller stops working. Okay. Sat in the sun. Alright. 
Mr. Beat. So let me know how the sound is, because I have no fucking idea. That not that sound. It, the music's annoying me. You should be able to hear me over it. No, I'm not playing it in Norwegian. Thank you. It's like the only music in this game. Why is Teddy in a cage? Oh, that's the plot of the game, isn't it? I could go straight to mini games and see if it's touch screen, but I won't. Teddy's in jail. He broke the law. So this is one thing, select a character. So you can either be like a really, really bad, like you're not seeing it as large on the screen as I am. That M Mr. Beam model is horrible. And above his feet, his, his ankles are one pixel wide. What the fuck? And you can also pick the woman? I don't know who that is. Is that Mr. Bean's girlfriend? Mr. Bean's landlord? I don't know who the woman is. I haven't watched the Mr. Bean cartoon uh, very intently, so please let me know. Thank you for the clip, Lars. It's supposed to look like the other character on the top screen. Yeah, and she doesn't. She hasn't even got the same hair colour. So we're going to play Bean. Mr. Bean, if you ever want to see Teddy in one piece again, bring me 450 cat biscuits. Like, I feel that while this plot is probably thinner than Mr. Bean's ankles, which I've just realised are... They, they don't... In that picture there, they don't exist. There's a gap between his leg and his feet. I still think that the cat biscuit... Uh, teddy bear kidnap plot needs to be expanded on a little bit. Maybe it's very logical if you've watched the cartoon a lot. She looks a teeny bit like the girlfriend from the original series. I've not seen that in so long either. Right. Why is Cerberus cat? Why, why is bad guy cat? Cats are always bad guys in things. Alright, saving. Yeah, we don't want to lose our progress so far. So this is why I had I had it so that the, although it looks fucking awful, it's supposed to be looked at on a screen that size, like 20 years ago, close, well not quite 20 years ago, 15 years ago. So I moved the, the bottom is just your current progress overall, so I've just moved it down there. Oh bad flashbacks, this is worse. This is fucking worse Emily. Feel free to drop out at any time because this is already fucking brain numbing as far as I, uh, I, I'm concerned. The music is playing the entire time, yeah. I'm not having that as a sound alert, that music, before anyone fucking says anything to that effect. So there's doors, check. The Where Wild Animals. Hopefully there's music in here that isn't this music. Different music. Thank fuck. Beware wild animals. I don't know, this game seems more low effort than the, the other one. That hum sound or whatever Mr. Bean makes. We've got a Mr. Bean sound alert. We've got a Mr. Bean, actual Mr. Bean sound alert already. Don't need to be reminded about Mr. Bean anymore. That's one cat biscuit. Don't step on the rake. Oh, the frame rate is absolutely fucking awful. Hunting for you. Oh no! <laughs> it's a change of music, thank you. You like the song too much, I'm gonna have this stuck in my head until Thursday now. Mute the game. I'll mute, I'll, I'll, I'll gladly mute the game, but I'll. It's time to spin the I've wheel. I've got to spin the wheel for Stina first. This one's for Stina. Why money? 
Show the miracle of beauty in the lake of your glass. Hat. Her heart so hard. And this is a Florio. N E Y money. She has chased me, hunted me. Hydrate. The wheel is rigged. It's weird it hasn't gone onto Amiibo. <laughs> what hat has Mr. Bean got on here? In a pass. Do I bother reading all these signs? Why, why, why is there a sign that you have to press a button to, to read? Why does it not just say Danger Deep Pit somewhere on the screen as you walk past it? It's a different game from the PS2 one, but there's the same fucking problems. It actually feel, makes me feel a bit nauseous playing it as well. Oh shit. There you go. You can bring the music back. Thank you, Steena. The Gambling Commission would like to check your random number generators. Well, they're singing at a beak, he's a karaoke with Steena. The butterfly, I think they might, they're, they're meant to be bees and not butterflies, I'm not too sure. No, the level design isn't identical. Like, this is like left to right, like 2.5D. It's actual 3D in uh, the PS2. The level's like based, I think they've used some of the same versions of the same assets, but it's a, diff it's a completely different game. I can't believe Klonoa ripped this game up. Maybe I should play fucking Klonoa. I've still got the Wii version of Klonoa. But push it. Oh, fuck. Mr. Bean just bombed himself. Suicide bombing Mr. Bean. B sound effect, yeah. Completely different game that uses the same sound effects as shit. Yeah, but it is it is a different game. But yeah, they've basically taken a lot of the shit and tried to squeeze it onto the DS, realised they haven't been able to. And then I don't know, spent a couple of weeks weeks botching together something, and this is that something. Oh, oh I no. can't believe this. Can everyone start doing shots? Shots, shots, shots. <laughs> First of all, Aforio, thank you for contributing 250 Talking Real Piece of the Mr. Bean DS Dream Challenge. Why do you want to see more of this already? And secondly, who, who called shots? Never says it on my screen, I have to look on another screen. Mokaneko, what do you want? You just want fucking terrible games. A lot of fucking terrible games. Don't need to play them all multiple times. What are the options? So we've got Raspberry Donut, Raspberry Glitter, and Toffee Vodka, and Poplio isn't actually an option. That would make more sense if you could actually see the Poplio was there. Toffee. All right. Bean gif over the top of the shots video. <laughs> Cheers, Mock and Echo. Happy Tuesday. How is everyone, by the way? I don't think I even asked that today. Ooh. I've got another four-day week, so I'm all right, you know. It's time to spin the wheel. We'll never get onto Zelda if we keep spinning that wheel. Hi, Golbez. This game's fucking awful. Welcome to Talking Real. Amiibo! It's Amiibo show and tell. Check. 
closed door. This door is closed. Maybe there is something close by that you are... Okay, I'm... so I've got to put, pull the box onto this fucking platform. Zelda is not getting finished tonight. Zelda is not getting played tonight. This game's fucking awful. Like and subscribe, yeah? I like the game. Stina, you probably like that fucking golf ball shovelware game. It, it, it looks worse than the PS2 game. There's less to do than the, so far than the PS2 game. So far there's been no touchscreen. I don't know. It actually makes me feel a bit sick playing it, the graphics are so bad. Animal Crossing. So, like, a, an am amiibo card. Yeah? Joe. Yeah? Maybe, I don't know, it's buzzing. I think it's supposed to be a bee. It's just they can't, couldn't even make something look like a bee properly. Got to jump over some bombs, like Mr. Bean does. just make a proper like sprite based 2D platform game. Why try to make it 3D when it's not going to benefit from the 3D? It's actually going to look worse. This was, you know, late enough. Like this was, this came out after like Final Fantasy uh, 4 DS. It was late, it's late enough in the DS's lifespan that people developers could realise that you don't need to make it too uh, like 3D. They, they definitely haven't used the second screen very well. Okay, I'll do an amiibo for you, Joe. I'll check, see what we've got. Can laughter when Bean accidentally jumps on the bomb. I don't know who we haven't done, but should we do the story? A story? Hi children, welcome to Amiibo Storytime. Today's story is Welcome to Animal Crossing, Amiibo Cards Collector's Album Series 3. And today we are telling the story of... Let's tell the story of Daisy. Daisy the Doggo. You might have heard the story of Daisy before, but I can't remember if I fucking told it to you. Daisy is there on card number 258. Daisy seems very happy, so clearly he hasn't played Mr. Bean today, or at all, probably. Daisy's birthday is on the 16th of November, which is quite close to my own. We could have a, a joint birthday party, maybe, if I knew Daisy. Uh, Daisy's other names are Doris, Louisa, Naomi, and Fiorella. And that's Daisy. I was originally going to do Beardo for you, Joe, but I guess you wouldn't appreciate that so i decided to do the one opposite they kiss when the the book closes there's some hot gossip there daisy and beardo in that album heard it here first like and subscribe where the fuck were we like i have no idea how far through the level we are this is the first level all the great fucking platform games that you could buy. And they release this absolute piece of fucking tripe. It gets boring before even the first level is finished. Whack-a-mole. Let's see. This is where we see if it needs to be touchscreen. The moles are on the bottom screen. Help Miss Wicket by hitting 16 moles. The bees will give me nightmares. It is touchscreen. We can't play it anymore. If we need to whack the moles to continue, we can't actually beat it. Let's see. F. You can you can give all the talking re will piece you want to the challenge, but I don't think we can play this game anymore. This is why we're trying it out. Sorry, but you were not fast enough. You need to whack 16 moles, but you only managed to whack zero. Whack yourself, fam. Oh, it just threw me back into it. 
rip in peace, babe. We'll see if the moles are optional. If there's a jigsaw puzzle at the end of the... Yeah, I, I might as well move that so you can see the moles. You only managed to whack zero. That is a fucking meme template. Just want this with Jealous looping in the background. Fucking nightmare. I need to get over this without touching the mole thing. See if I can get over... No! Ah! Oh, I'm not sure I can even get past without initiating this mole game. Sadly, they didn't, for some reason, they didn't release this on the Wii U Virtual Console. So I can't, I can't get a version with actual touchscreen input. Snow White was much more cursed, but is that it was, it was funnier. No, oh, I should have gone right and not left. You just jump right after the game ends. Yeah, I'll try that. I got, I got to keep my wits about me here and not, uh, not be looking at chat. What the fuck am I doing with my time here? <laughs> Two hats on my head. Drinking shots. Shot shots. Playing a fucking Mr. Bean DS game. On a TV. You only managed to whack zero. Yes! Alright, we're back. We're back. We're back in business. Mr. Bean's getting finished tonight. But the thing is, the this is like uh, the the mole the mole games. What they did, I think, in the PS2 version, you got another teddy. So in the top right over there, you can see the teddies. It's it's another hit point. So it's like a heart container in Zelda. So. It, if we do play it without playing the mole games, it will be like trying to go through a game without get, getting any uh, power-ups or stuff. Which, I guess you'll fucking love that. Alright, we're speedrunning now. Bean hard mode. Why bother using the fly spray as well when you can just dodge the flies? Fly spray is such a stupid fucking mechanism in these games. <laughs> the Dark Souls of platformers. Bean Souls. This is so monotonous and boring. The first level is going on forever! Uh, <laughs> roasted bean. This is at... Alright, I can say it properly now. This is worse than the PS2 game. At least the PS2 had, like... There was a bit more to it. This is fucking dire. I reckon the whack-a-mole will be by far the best thing about the game, but we can't play it. Can we just change the challenge to rename peas to beans instead? No! Talking real peas is talking real peas forever. Oh, it's that arsehole dog. Join the rants, good. At least someone's enjoying something. Oh, two bees! That actually made me jump a little. 
Alright, now I'm going to use the fly spray. Fuck him. Kill him. Fricks. Only 24, three more unidentified brown blobs get to find. I can smell another barbecue, so I'm gonna offer you a burger. I did, like, barbecue at the weekend. I just cooked... I, I, I just cooked four hot dogs on the barbecue. It was quite an extravagant, uh... It, quite a decadent... It's time to spin the use of wheel! A barbecue to fire up a barbecue for the sake of one small meal for two people. Alright, Steena, let's spin. Will you get something other than hat? It's Amiibo. Amiibo. Something other than hat, at least. The wheel heard that uh, I was saying why hasn't it gone to an, on Amiibo? It's gone on to hat so much. And now it's Amiibo. Now it's doing Amiibo. What are these? Are they beehives on the floor? You want a burger? I'm having a curry tonight. We're using up uh, batch food that I've cooked previously. It's a vegan korma. So I, I decided to make a lot more spicy than a korma should be. Rossetti. What's the moliest amiibo? Yeah, it's Rossetti. Where is he? He should be close to the front. Can't find him, you know. Keep looking. Keep looking. And how with this hat keep falling over my eyes. Oh, he's up here. He's hiding behind Ganondorf, one of the tallest amiibos. There's Mr. Rossetti. Save, save. Save, motherfuckers. He's there with his fucking pitchfork, which is going directly in between your fucking eyes if you don't save the game. Don't think about time traveling or doing anything stupid like that. Man's gonna come and he's gonna shout at you. He probably won't outright murder you. It's time to spin the wheel. There will be the, the danger that he will do something worse than shout at you, perhaps one day. And if, you're, if, if your console runs out of battery, that's just as bad. How dare you play Animal Crossing on low battery? What? Why would you even fucking do that? That's Rossetti. Thank you, Steena. Rossetti is a character in Animal Crossing that yells at you if you don't save the game before turning it off. But they, they've removed, they've nerfed the games, they've removed Rossetti from New Horizons. Apparently, I've read a, inter, a translated interview, apparently lots of Japanese women apparently cried when Mr. Rossetti shouted at them. And that was cited as one of the reasons that they didn't have Rossetti. I'm not sure how true that was, but yeah. We'll spin the wheel for whoever it was. Endless raining. M -O -N -E -Y. Money. <laughs> Hat. I got takeaway burger the other day and they were charging an extra quid for gluten free. What, to change the bread? Fuck them. I heard Rossetti scared little kids. Little kids, children and women. They re they removed Mr. Rossetti for, you know, respect to children and women. Cookie monster. Alright, I'm, I'm removing the stack. Rip in peace stack. Put it on. Please, someone get another hat. This is so thick and woolly. Look at that. And it's fucking hot as sweaty balls in this room. Let's put 
the eyes facing the camera at least. The odds were stacked against us. Yay, thank you, endless raining. I will try not to die because of your choice of hat. Oh, it's a key? I got the key. The placement of bombs is just annoying, isn't it? It's not even a fun and challenging mechanic yet. It, perhaps it is in later levels. If there is another level, this might be the whole game. It's an open world Mr. Bean adventure. Locked chest. This treasure chest seems to be locked. You will need a key to open, in the, open the trip. I've got a key. Did the key get used? Oh, fuck. Mr. Bean's been bombed. Oh, I didn't get the key. Am I able to get past those bombs? No, I'll just jump on all the bombs. Alright. I've actually got the key that time. Fuck knows what happened the first time. Yeah. Might be that the game shit, Jack, is it? <laughs> Here we go. What's in the box? Oh, it's a... Uh... It's our first puzzle piece of three. That implies that we're only a third of the way through the level. Urban Cookie Collective, yeah. Fucking frog! Run! No, what? What? Ugh. They did not design this game to be fun. They designed this game to be of a sufficient length. Design this game. Immaculate design. Oh, I can't get rid. Of... Oh, I can, I can get rid of bees with a saucepan. Please let that be a puzzle piece. No, oh, you. I did. I don't even know what I was going to say there. I was going to say ball bag, but I started it with N, so I decided not to bother saying it. I've said a lot more words. It's like, what? Oh, it's the pirate. The fucking pirate hat. Yeah, invincibility. This chest is locked. I need another key and then to come back to the chest. Not fun, but a sufficient length. Yeah. It's a fucking TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor review of my dills. Did I not get that f I didn't, did I? Ugh! Game shit. I know it. I know. We go back and get it. Fucking bastard flies. Where's this key gone? Is it further along than this? Where's the key? It's above the heart. Is that a key? I thought it was a bee. Thank you, Jackazin. It's like fucking, you know, Nightmare, in more ways than one. It's like Nightmare as in the, the TV show, because you're leading me through it as if I have no fucking eyes, and also it's like a nightmare in that it's it's like a fucking nightmare. Like and subscribe. Alright, two or three, so it looks like we're quickly getting to the end of this asshole level. Side step left. Yeah, it was a different mess of yellow pixels. 
I just missed the bean not I have ankles. Run two steps forward. We we were gonna do that with Dark Souls once. Uh, no, I get used to uh, tell us like get us to play Dark Souls blindfolded. We realised it would be that hard enough us playing Dark Souls with uh, with Adrian just telling us what to do. So we did that in the end. We didn't get that far into Dark Souls. Peggy three. Oh no. Alright, I'm not swearing for ten minutes. That is when it gets to ten six twenty and a half. I'll stop swearing. And that is just me IRL. You can't claim shots and if something's pre-recorded it doesn't count. I'll just keep quiet. I'll, t I'll turn the microphone off, yeah? How do you like this game? I think it's great. It's the best DS game that I've played since Sunday. I think. The buzzing of the bees is one of the main features of this game. Uh, I can't say I'm enjoying it, but I appreciate that they've put the effort into emulating the uh, annoying wildlife that you might find in a very large, very long garden. Aha, I've gotten the key this time. What's in the box here? Excuse <laughs> Thank you, Emily. Whose garden is it? Mr. Bean. He's become a Tory. He has some acres. We got three puzzle pieces. Oi, fuck And we got 50 of the 50 things. Cat biscuits, are they supposed to be? Well done! You have collected all the jigsaw pieces from this level. Once you have collected all the jigsaw pieces from the levels in this area, you can play the jigsaw challenge and move on to the next area. There is no chance in the world that the jigsaw thing won't be touch screen. It's saving data. So what? Do I have to play some other levels? Alright, I think we've tested this sufficiently. The sewer. You need all the jigsaw pieces from, from the levels in this area. When you've collected the 12 pieces, come back and play the Jigsaw Challenge. So, there's another two levels before we have to see if the Jigsaw is touchscreen. Now the options now... Do we play the other two levels? Or do we can now... Do we move, or do we move over to Zelda and continue with the, the challenge for a full stream? I've probably tested this more than the Q18, yes. 100%. We play the other two levels. You want to see this more than Zelda? Alright, I'll, I'll open the next level, which is going to be exactly the same as the first level. Yep, it is exactly the same as the first level. I'm not sure I'm even going to be able to save the game as well, so if we do do a full stream, I'll have to start from the beginning again. Oh, that music! I miss this music. Nobody missed this mu music. I hope you appreciate all the, uh, the paddling I'm doing below the water, trying not to swear. 
The game says it's saving, but I'm not sure how the emulator works. I'm playing it on a Super Nintendo Mini, so I'm just not sure. Some games just don't, uh, some emulators on the Super Nintendo Mini don't, don't support save games. Or, or don't support them properly. I don't think any emulator has, like some emulators have certain games that they've been designed and modified specifically for. I don't think any uh, any emulation team has ever specifically tailored their emulator to Mr. Bean the game DS though. Love this music. Alright Mokaneko, see you in a bit. doing? <laughs> Waiting for Iron 8 bit to put this out on vinyl. Yes. You need to do it, like remix this. You can't get any more niche than that, so... Seriously. I'm whistling along. With your <clears throat> fingers in your ears, yeah? It's what the postcard... Yeah, the postcards. So I looked at... I got this postcard today. And I, what, what the hell is this? It's actually addressed to me. And yeah, I googled. Apparently it's a Fortnite advert. And... It's people that have ordered from I Am 8-Bit, though I haven't ordered from I Am 8-Bit before. Is the, I, I think that perhaps maybe I've... because of uh, limited rum maybe? No, hell is not swearing. This is an America. Doesn't count. I've never been told off for saying hell. I stayed with someone in America who would get proper upset at the word hell. Like, in, that was the first time I'd ever heard that. switch out like when reading something switch out the word hell for heck so and I've seen it on like telly and stuff people s certainly treat it a little more like a, a swear word in America than here where it's not oh no collapsing platform time to get the key. Oh. The treasure chest, what? I need a key. Okay, I'll carry on for the key. But yeah, hell is not swearing at all here. I'm not reading out your swear words in chat, though. You're not getting me that way. Oh, I didn't get that key again, did I? This game is so horrible looking. It is not. I've only got a minute of no swearing left as well. Is silly. So far the game's been not challenging, but I'm, I'm happy about that, because I imagine that their design of challenging will be absolutely awful. Hit them, baby. 
Ortiz. Get that cat biscuit. How can I not get back up here? Oh, I can. Checkpoint, just in case we die. Although there are collapsing platforms, so I might fall through one of those at some point. I can swear again, by the way. I passed the challenge. It's got to be the first time. Back in chat. There's another key box. This is brain numbing, this game. Holy fat. Did I mention, but oh, I did mention it the other day, didn't I? There's a, we've got a new Nando's video. Finally got Nando's, Nando's 102 finally exists in a watchable form. Like four or five years after we went. Boing, boing. It's actually uploaded now, but I've got it as private. So I need. Laps got to send me the graphics that we use on the videos so I can add the cox and the outro. And then I've got to re-edit the video. I've got to remove an extra minute from it and then send it back to Lap so he can upload it. It wasn't me editing them to start with, it was Lap, but I didn't have the, the videos and the stuff for it. And at the time I didn't have a computer that I could edit video on. Like I back when when we were filming these videos, I was still not no word of a lie, I was still running a, a, a Windows XP computer. I've never had a good computer. donate peas to get you a good computer. Well, yeah, I, I, it would be a lot of peas though, wouldn't it? How does the frying pan only have enough durability to smack a finite number of peas? Ask that to the, uh, the development team of Mr. Bean. A good point though. You can smack five bees with this pan. Why did it get caught? He got caught on it. He's getting caught on these. Feck. Okay. Didn't die. We're going to have to grab another beer soon. Maybe when we get to the half pass, we'll take a break. And then decide if we want to move over to Zelda. Or try to complete this first world. It's time oh, to spin, spin wheel. the wheel. M O N E Y Money. Stretch. It's where the ticky sticky lands. Look, dance to this music. Oh. 
Ugh. Oh. Strange that the we've had quite a lot of shots from the wheel in the last few weeks. It's strange that we haven't had any today, despite the amount of time it's been spun. All right, the key is on the other side of this. Surely that is. How do I get back over here? Hydration. Thank you, Lars. How do I get past here? The treasure chest seems to be locked. You'll need a key to open this treasure chest. Can I kill the mole with this? No. Uh, am I stuck? The door is closed, maybe there is something close by that will open it for you. You need to move that box before the shed. Yeah, how do I get back to the shed? To before the shed. You can't walk around things. Up and down don't do anything. It doesn't seem that you can't drag this the chest. I think I'll have to get killed by the mole and move back. Ah, uh, these fucking games! We love game design. Level complete, 72% at least. There's going to be some game breaking thing like in the PS2 game though, isn't there? In the PS2 version, one of the puzzle pieces that was needed to get to World 3 or 4 or whatever it was just didn't exist in the game. I did the level again and again and again then we watched the fucking video and the puzzle piece that was meant to be there just wasn't there. Sometimes I'm going to have to walk through that key to fucking pick it up. Oh no, it's the old fucking woman. at the back of the pan. If I had it, she'd get in the fucking face. Oh, I thought I was about to fall through that. Okay. I'm so glad I'm not playing one of those shit DS platform games like New Super Mario Brothers. It's a jiggy. Alright. I've got all the jigsaw pieces from this level. It's the apple from Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys. She's going to be so jealous. What's the point of even fucking spraying the flies? The pirate hat doesn't make you immune to rakes. There's the final box of cat biscuits above me. No, there's another one. Okay. Oh, there's a boinger boinger. Spring platform. In all good Tory gardens. If you're the only streamer on Twitch.tv playing this game, you're cornering the market. No, why am I doing a fucking mole game? Help Miss Wicket by hitting 18 fucking moles. We got 18 seconds. No, we haven't. We got 20. We got 30 seconds. I'll sit back and relax. 
finish off my Elvis juice. This is new Elvis juice. They changed it from like 6.4% to 5.1%. The price is the same. It doesn't taste as good as before, but I guess you can drink more of them and spend the same amount of money on them, so that's their idea. Millwall. Yeah, I actually got a bot. I've got a bottle of the original Elvis juice in the fridge. I bought a couple when I heard they changed, just so I could do a side by side test. And yeah, they're both nice, but there's a flavour and a haziness in the original Elvis juice that aren't in this one. And the cat biscuits that I got out of that box still in the air. Good. They are. Brewdog said it was market research that led them to change the alcohol percentage and they were uh, looking at options of doing like a double Elvis and a triple Elvis in the future. Which makes me think that they're just going to fucking bring back original Elvis juice but charge like a quid more a bottle. We've missed a fucking cat biscuit, hopefully I don't need that. Bean juice. Yeah. I'll go and get a can of beans. I don't think we even have beans. Exit level. Congratulations! Alright, we're going to take a break before doing the third level. Once you've collected all the jigsaw pieces from the levels in this area, you can play the jigsaw challenge and move to the next area. Except we can't. Alright, we've managed to play this game for an hour. Let me know how it turns out. Thank you, Gold Bears, for watching. Uh, you can come back, you can watch this video on replay. I'm sure you know how it turns out, and yeah, we'll... We'll, we'll, we'll let Discord know as well. You might end up with refunded Talking Real P, so some, uh, M -O -M -E -Y, money. some cash in the bank. I'm going to grab another drink, so I'll be back in like a minute. So don't, don't fuck off anywhere. Just grab a drink yourself. You need it. You deserve it for watching this. BRB. We are back with a bean. Oh, we're talking about beans now. Not bean juice. When bean juice touches other food on your plate. Yeah. Lots of people use ramekins to keep the beans separate. I don't actually mind. When I was a kid, I had baked beans and I'd like, you know, rub a bit of bread around the plate to get all that bean juice. Yeah. Let's just talk about beans instead. I like, like beans on toast, but as a meal on its own. I've never been fond of beans on toast. I've had it quite a few times, but I've never... The, the flavour of the toast tends to clash with the flavour of the beans, I find. It's hard to explain. Like, it's not horrible, but... I, I prefer to have toast and beans separate. But having, having toast with... I, I would like bean juice on the toast as part of a breakfast, but I'd like the egg on the toast as well. Talking about a non-vegan breakfast here. If they get anywhere near the egg, it's game over. I love beans everywhere. Smother the egg, the bacon, the bread. We're all hungry for breakfast here now. 
I like it where the egg yolk mixes with the bean juice. I'm not a massive fan of eggs, so yeah, I'm with you there. I'm so turned on right now. Stell, we need to... Here's Stell, in case you haven't seen it, this is MC Barber here. Uh, rapping the one of the, uh, li the the lines of Guy's Dongs. Shaking and retaining and fluffing all around You got one ball up, you got one ball down You had style and grace, you went back to my place I woke up this morning with a big in my face <laughs> Eggy bread, nah e I've never had eggy bread I'm, It probably isn't bad, but the, the, the name puts me off Not a big fan of the egg That was a good gig, yes Jack has said what was there back in 2G6. Uh, did you pay to get in? I can't remember if you had an SG account or not at the time. I know Freezer paid to get in. I'm sure he can watch the video to find out. It's an eggy bread like cooked like egg soaked bread. Yeah, I think, Jack said, I think you turned up with Freezer and it was 63p no change and you paid a pound because there was no change. But Freezer had come with 63p like counted out and he, he, he was well fucking chuffed. <laughs> but you didn't seem to care. You got an extra like 30p of your money. You basically beat the egg until it's runny then dip the bread in and fry it. Yeah, eggy bread's not one for you, Steena, because it's got bread in it. Takeaways do it. Takeaways do eggy bread. Am I missing something here? What's the best bit of the concert? Stell. What was the significance? Of si so 63 was like our like our meme number back in the day, and it still is now. It was a nut. A number that was referenced a lot and I used to reference it a lot on on like live journal square game uh, real life and everything so yeah it's a lot of you'll see a lot of 63 now you know you've seen me re mention 63 quite a lot and there's quite there's some like DJ Damien songs from after the gig that have like 63 in them as well it's a recurring number when Fuse comes out of the bush, yes. All right, let's, let's continue with this Mr. Bean bullshit. We've got one more level to do before we can't get past the jigsaw puzzles. All right, the park. of the game once you do the sewer level if we get to the sewer then it's definitely that i mean we were only supposed to be testing this to see if we need to use the touch screen so technically i sh this should be part of the full stream but i'm being kind and uh kind to you not kind to me i should be playing zelda now I'm gonna end up playing zelda in another week and then forgetting what the fuck we were doing. No, not, not everyone can do MC Barber still. I've got it set so only I can activate it. But good try. I'm going to have it set as a Talking Real Peas Redemption. It's not going to be as cheap as Oi Fucko because it stops everything. Barber sounds like Ronald's now found a new sidekick, yeah. During lockdown, he couldn't sell burgers. Fuck did I bother? Oh by the way, Aphorio, 
found something out from Nightbot today. So the stats, I'm not sure what the stats are from, whether it's from the last week or the last month or what the period are. But it tells me on the dashboard who the top chatter is and what the top uh, Nightbot command is. And the top chatter is you, and the top command is only fans. Oh, I thought I'd die if I fell in that. Didn't. Why is there even a platform over it then? The top command is fucking only fans. All the things that I've set Nightbot to do. All people want is only all, all you want is only fans. Got to get five keys in this level. And five puzzle pieces. I reckon I'm going to set MC Barber at a thousand talking real peas. Or perhaps 800. I don't want it to pop up too much. I want it to be funny when it does. does obscure the entire screen for like 10 seconds at least. We need something new. Gotta keep adding new shit in. That's why there's new sound alerts today. Maybe add some laser effects. What? Make it more obnoxious. I mean, if somebody wants to remix the video, they could. Talking rave. Still need the Jackazid remix of Guy's Dongs. Remember I was going to do a Guy's Dong's uh, 10th Anniversary EP in like 2015, but that just stayed as ideas.txt. Lap was going to make a music video for it as well, and he actually wrote notes on what shots that he wanted for the music video. We just never did any of that shit. I, I'm sure I still have the vocals. I'll see. Let's make ideas.txt happen. I've got a whole old fucking hard drive. After I'm off this platform, I will uh, show you it. No! Ooh. What? Did Bean just fall? Did you see that? What did he? I was off there and he just fell through that fucking... Mate! That is not on. Millwall. So this here, this hard drive, let's, let's ignore the game for a bit. This is a 40 gigabyte hard drive that a friend was... I was around a friend's house in 2005 and she was throwing it out. So I said, I'll have it. There's nothing wrong with it. She just didn't want it anymore. So she was moving. So I took it and this this is like a treasure trove of stuff. This was my computers that I had in 2005 and 2006. This has all that shit. So this will have the, if it's, it worked a few weeks ago anyway. This has Guy's Dongs on it, I think. Yeah, I've got it. I, I have everything in, within reaching distance here except for the Detective Pikachu Amiibo. Clip that shit. Alright. Mr. Bean. I bet it does. What do you mean, Joe? You bet it has guys' dongs on it. Or are you saying it in a lewd way? I bet it has guys' dongs on it.
Wanna know what I did today? I was looking at guys' dongs. How far back have we fucking gone? I tell you what, I'm not gonna bother moving over to Zelda. Even if we moved over to Zelda now, we'd only have like, what, 45 minutes? And I have to switch consoles and change change all the, the overlays and settings. So Mr. Bean's your lot today. Thank you, Mark and Echo. No, a clip hasn't, isn't a command. I'm not sure if I can set up Nightbot to do that. You probably can, actually. I'll look into it. Nightbot's talking at the moment. Do something useful, Nightbot. For some reason, we don't get randoms coming in saying, wow, you're playing Mr. Bean, and you're playing Mr. Bean. There's zero discoverability with Mr. Bean. This is for people in the know only, or shall we say exclusive. I got past it. Annoyingly, there's a check bar, a checkpoint right after it. Scan my bean amiibo. Bean amiibo. I've actually got Mr. Bean. Uh, the uh, Mr. Bean me is on an amiibo. And it's the amiibo that I thought was the most like Mr. Bean, which is Bayonetta. I can't see her from here. Scan my Mr. Bean Amiibo, please, please, please. This is a uh, Meatopia, Beantopia, Beananetta. Flavoured Vianetta, yummy. That's like something they do for a fucking publicity stunt, though. Bean Vianetta. I wouldn't put it out of. Uh, I wouldn't put it beyond possibility. Not this year. After fucking Marmite, Marmite links Africa. Anything's possible. Vianetta is ice cream. So it's it's what was considered posh in the 80s and 90s and it's now just cheap and mostly ignored. It's like an ice cream cake, it, like layers of ruffled chocolate and ice cream in various flavours such as mint and strawberry. I don't know if you still can. You used to when you get like the got the family feast at KFC, you can get a fucking Vianetta with it. Jack has said, like many things, has ruined Vianetta for a Florio. It's a Vianetta uh, Gabba video or something. If that video, if the Vianetta video still exists, someone fucking find it and stick it in Discord. no actual cake involved. It's like if lasagna was made of ice cream. <laughs> I'm in on this shit. Wall should be paying me for Vianetta advertising now. Alright, 
gonna smack this old woman. There! Fuck it. You still can't have to jump over her though. What the hell? This game, I'm, I'm just on fucking autopilot now. Is anyone actually st still paying attention to the game? Like, you prefer, if I just was showing you Vianetta, that would be a better stream already. Having the time of my life. Well, I'm glad we can provide that here at Talking Room. Alright, don't need to actually go over this. Oh, you do this time. You can't jump onto the shore here. Another key in this level. 88%. Those bee, bees' wings need to be nerfed. Yeah, why are they so much louder than the music in the game as well? Be gone. No, not Whack-A-Mole! Go fuck yourself! Whack-A-Mole's not happening. More like Neck-A-Mole. That's already what I have to say it anyway. Hey! There we go. Shit! Alright, there's some tricky-ass platforming action here. If you want to see more of this, donate your peas to a whole stream of Mr. Bean DS, imagine that. This is like this. You got it for fucking free, basically. Posted KFC Vianetta ad in Discord, nice. Do they still do the Vianetta in uh, KFC? They probably don't, they do cra crush them instead, don't they? Ended in the late 90s, oh fuck. Right, I'm quite <laughs> fucking old man here. Do they still do? Do they still do half penny chocolates? <laughs> Should get some KFC one of these nights. KFC is pretty bad as far. You have far better fried chicken, even like Sam's chicken, which you have in that side. That side of London is better than KFC most of the time. The ones in supermarkets seem a lot smaller. Yes, Vianetta. There was one thing that Iceland did the other year. What I got was small Vianettas on a stick. Uh, Iceland own brand Vianettas. You got them in like a pack of five. And it was like a tiny Vianetta on a stick. Love that shit. If they did actual Vianettas like that, I'd be all over that. They did a Vianetta crush them at one point. <laughs> yeah. Crush them so bad though. It's like a, a, a drunken student is trying to make you a, a, a good milkshake, but they don't have the right ingredients for it, and they're drunk. And it's probably going to fucking harm you if you drink it. That's what a crushing's like, plus it's overpriced. Would rather have an original, yeah, on a fucking broomstick, an original 90s Vianetta. Vianetta looks like what we call ice cream cake over here. They still sell original ice creams in supermarkets. Knock off shake away. Yeah. 
saw a shake away in where was it in Leeds the other week I didn't realize any of them still existed hi Rekka welcome to the stream uh, still playing fucking Bean. playing three levels of this absolute fucking atrocious shit how how's it going Still one in Portsmouth as well, yeah. I didn't know that, that there were so many shakeaways still. There were so many, like, there were lots of other shops that started doing the same thing. But shakeaways, the, the, like, the original as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, it sort of branched out and then they just vanished, most of them. Looks like a kind of decent game. You have no fucking idea. I'll drink for you though, but you're wrong. Will there be a Sunday stream? No. There's no streams between Thursday and Sunday. Tomorrow's the only stream for the next week. And then we're back with the bonus next week for during uh, Nintendo Direct. All right, now we get to see the jigsaw, if we can do the jigsaw. More of a novelty when I had to travel to Southampton or Bournemouth to have one, but since I got one within walking distance, I haven't been. I remember, like the first one I went into was Bournemouth, but I, could, I actually literally couldn't. I didn't have enough money on me to eat proper food that day and also have a milkshake, so I, I, I did. I didn't buy a shake away the first time I went in. Yeah, look, it's on the touch screen. I can't do it. Assemble the jigsaw pic picture in 90 seconds to unlock the next area. They open one in West Hampstead for a while. There was one in the, the uh, Arndale Centre until a couple of years ago as well. well they, they, they branched out a lot. Yeah, I can't play it. I literally can't get past here, so I can't do any more Mr. Bean today or that next stream. So we have we have no challenges. Why is it Deirdre Bois Barlow? Yeah. Can't do it. I'll try and touch the telly. I'll touch the computer. There. No. It's just not working. End of Bean. M-O-N-E-Y. Money. End of Bean. How do you reckon I would have been doing? At least the jigsaw puzzles in this game are not fucking animated. Like Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys. We fouled. There's... There's gonna be no... We can't get past here. This is the only Bean that we can do. But we got a fucking hour and a half out of this. I can't be bothered to turn over to Zelda though, so is there anything else that I might have on the SNES Mini that you want to see for the next half an hour? Animaniacs, yeah? I could play an the Game Boy version of Animaniacs. I'm not sure I could handle half an hour of that. Robbed of Minish Brap, there we go. Sorry, but you were not fast enough. Once you have beaten this puzzle, the next area of the game will be unlocked. That's it. That's it, there's, there's, I can't play the game, I can't get beyond there without a touch screen. So that, well you've got, you've actually seen, that's as much as this game has to offer, come on. With the sewer, you just get the old man and, you know, some of the assets have changed. But yeah, that was value for money there. What do you want for, What do you want me to do with the next half an hour then? I can't be bothered to switch over to the, the Wii U and change all of the, uh, change the script. This is what it looks like on the screen that I'd be using the Wii U for at the moment. So I need to, that, that's what it looks like on the, on my telly, by the way. That's why I decided to make a set, make a separate setup. So at least I did it fancy for you. Alright, Rekka. 
Enjoy. We're back tomorrow for Animal Crossing. Pick some random games. So yeah, I will go on to the, let's see, the uh, viewer rewards, channel points, talking real peas, manage rewards and challenges. So I'll, the Mr. Bean DS trial stream is complete. The Nando's video stream is complete. And the, we're at 21%, 21 seconds of the Mr. Bean DS stream, and I can't do it, so I'm gonna bin it. This will remove the challenge from your dashboard. Viewers will no longer be able to contribute to it, and your progress will be lost. Deleting this challenge will refund 10,717 Talking Real Peas. Back to the viewers who participated in it. Delete and refund. There you go. If you donated some peas to that, you should be getting a refund. So you've got some more peas now. Let's play something else. Are you close to a shot? You got after your refund. I don't fucking <laughs> believe this. Can everyone start doing shots? Shots. 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 I'm never doing fucking... I'm never doing trial chat trials again. That should have been it. That should have been a 50,000 talking real peas stream right there. This is too good fucking value. Alright. So for your shot, what do you want? We've got Red Square Toffee Vodka. We've got it's Raspberry time Jam to Donut spin Gin the Liqueur. Wheel. And we've got Hawkey's uh, Raspberry Glitter Schnapps. They're all too fucking sweet. But I'm used to them all now. What do you want? Go for the toffee. Okay, and then I'll spin the wheel for Joe. You got... And I, I'll do the hydrate as well, Lars. Cheers, like and subscribe. Ooh! Ooh! It's all right, actually. It'd be nice, like, in an ice cream, in a shake. That would be good in an alcoholic shake away. It's the best of the three, anyway. Even though I've had a Welsh guy fucking come over and swig out of the bottle. I will spin the wheel. I'm doing the shot. And the hydration. M -O -N -E -Y. This is for you, Joe. Money. Alcoholic Viennetta Shake Away. Make it happen. Amiibo. It's an amiibo. What kind of amiibo do you want? I can show you Rossetti again. That would be the lazy option. There's Rossetti. He's an amiibo. He has a hat and a weapon in his hand. What amiibo do you want, though? I'm sure we've had most bean-like. Like Mr. Bean or Mr. Bean or a bean. I think we've had both, but I'll, I'll, I'll get them out. Whack a Rossetti. Fucking smack the cunt across the room. So the most Mr. Bean-like amiibo is Bayonetta. And I can't find Bayonetta. I need them in alphabetical order. My inner librarian's like... getting annoyed at me now. I couldn't remember... I, like, at the time, I couldn't justify why Bayonetta was like Mr. Bean. But then I realised that she has a little fucking mole on her face just like Mr. Bean. Not that my camera is good enough and my hand's not fucking shaky. There we go. You can't actually see it. But that, that's, mi that's Mr. Bean. And it actually, it holds, this amiibo holds a Mr. Bean me. No word of a lie. There's a mis If you touch this on 
a system you can transfer a Mr. Bean me to your uh, to your console. And the other thing that I have for a bean like, as in a baked bean, is fucking Pac-Man. That is a good ass amiibo. I got this arsehole in Toys R Us in Sunshine City in Tokyo. And I was very happy to be able to get a hold of it because this is one of the ones that sold out when, when people were going mad over the fucking amiibo things originally. But they restocked eventually, but yeah. Palm of Violets does taste like soap. I really liked them when I was a kid. I liked some fucking weird ass shit when I was a kid. I Palm of Violets was my favourite in like the Swizzles mix. And I liked to, like I liked drinking tonic water when I was a kid. Like I would pick tonic water over Coca-Cola. What the fuck? All right, I'm going to read up now. What was the cider flavour we had at Chris's birthday? You're talking about, oh, that's the Palmer Violet thing. Okay, so what we've got now, I'll go over to the correct console scene.